Hey everyone, welcome back. For those who don't know us, I'm Dr. Marcos. And I'm Dr. B. Last time we discussed why we named our beautiful practice the Gonsic Chiropractic Clinic of Sarasota. Those videos can be found on our Instagram and Facebook. Today we are going to discuss who was the chiropractor's chiropractor, Dr. Clarence Gonstead. Dr. Gonstead was born July 24th, 1898 in a Norwegian colony of South Dakota. Dr. Gonstead, before going to chiropractic college, was an automotive engineer, at which time he developed a very acute case of rheumatoid arthritis in 1921. His arthritis was so bad at age 23 that he was completely bedridden to the point where he couldn't even handle the covers over his legs. They would cause way too much pain to do that. So Dr. Gonstead's aunt was quoted saying, now that you've fooled around with those university doctors long enough, now I'm going to call in my doctor. And his name was Dr. Jacob Olson. Dr. Olson came in on a Monday night and adjusted Dr. G in his bed because he had so much pain he couldn't move. Dr. Olson adjusted T12 and T5 in Dr. Gonstead's spine. He was able to sleep for the first time in a month. And by the end of the week, Dr. Gonstead was out of bed and moving about the house. A true miracle would change the chiropractic profession from that day forward. Dr. Gonstead, a year after his first adjustment, decided to resign from his job and go to Palmer College of Chiropractic. His father was adamant that he would be making the biggest mistake of his life to give up a great job for this chiropractic thing. Dr. Gonstead attended chiropractic college and graduated in 1923. After six months, Dr. G wanted to be near his family who lived in Mount Horb, Wisconsin. So he opened up his first office over a bank, which was only three rooms. Dr. Gonstead had a very difficult start to his career as he was ready to give up and quit a few times, but Dr. Olson kept a young Dr. Gonstead on track and to not give up. After Dr. Gonstead started to get some incredible results by applying his engineering background to the human body, he quickly outgrew his practice as patients overflowed into the street waiting to see him. Dr. Gonstead by this time developed a full and reliable system to examine and apply his findings in the most specific way possible to help rid patients of dysfunction within their nervous system. This reliable system was not yet created for the entire spine in the chiropractic profession. By 1939, he needed to expand to a bare office, which was now his second, and began working six and a half days a week, adjusting up to 250 patients a day just to keep up with the growth of his practice. Dr. Gonstead was adjusting more people per week than the amount of people that lived in Mount Horb, Wisconsin. By 1954, Dr. Gonstead was getting incredible attention throughout not only the Midwest, but the entire country, as chiropractors all over the world were wondering why their patients were traveling hundreds of thousands of miles to see this one man in a town of only 1,700 people. Dr. Gonstead, with the help of Ted and Phyllis Markham, began having formal classes to teach these practicing doctors how to do his specific and unique approach to chiropractic care. Dr. Gonstead, at this point in his career, was working almost seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 2.30 a.m. the next morning, seeing thousands of patients a week from all over the country. In 1964, Dr. Gonstead's ever-expanding practice and seminar business required a much larger facility, which led to the creation of a 29,000-square-foot, two-story building that had a full-service motel, a limousine service to the Madison Airport to pick patients up, and even a personal airstrip at his house for private flights who wanted to experience the Gonstead difference. Dr. Gonstead's incredible results and success with his created chiropractic application became the cornerstone of Palmer College of Chiropractic Technique curriculum. So yes, the college that awarded him his chiropractic degree made his system the foundation and majority of chiropractic education moving forward, revolutionizing the entire profession. Who would have guessed? Dr. Gonstead practiced for 51 total years, developed the gold standard Gonstead system, and is having his concepts he developed about the human body just today being found by mainstream research. A man way ahead of his time and even our time, Dr. Gonstead was known as the chiropractor. He passed away in 1978 at age 80. Thankfully, there are many great first generational Gonstead doctors who worked alongside him and learned all they possibly could from him. These amazing doctors are out there continuously teaching the next generations of Gonset chiropractors and are ensuring the work is kept pure to its principles while advancing forward with our new technology. Both Dr. B and I are dedicated to learning from the best as much as possible to be part of the next generation 
of Gonset Chiropractors. Thank you all so much for joining us today. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments as there is too much to go over in just a short video. We want to answer any questions you may have about who Dr. Gons said was. Yes, please comment below as we look forward to hearing and seeing you guys next week as well. We're going to dive into what are the aspects of the Gonset system that make Gonset chiropractors different. We will see you guys later. Bye.